Tens of thousands of Americans marched on the National Mall to the Lincoln Memorial to remember a dream. It was inspired by this historic march back in 1963, that landmark event in the civil rights movement some 50 years ago. That led to so many changes, and today, all these years later, so many still determined to finish that work. Today they marched again, still inspired by those stirring words from Dr. Martin Luther King. Because I have a dream. My four little children one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. The I Have a Dream speech 50 years ago this week. And tonight here, ABC's Rena Ninen with some of those same faces who have returned to the nation's capital. 50 years after the march, they came to retrace their steps that changed the country. Happy the movement was born out of the black churches with a message heralded by a minister. I have a dream. Today, that dream carried on by his son. I know the daddy is smiling up above. More than 200,000 people gathered on that August day. Kathleen Johnson was one of them. This photo capturing the moment after she tumbled into the reflecting pool, trying to snap a picture. Uh, I was embarrassed. I just wanted to get help to get out. The camera lost, but this image winding up on newspapers the next morning. Edith Lee Payne turned 12 the day of the March on Washington. Only five years ago, her cousin discovering this photo of her in the back of a calendar. I was in disbelief that my picture would be on a calendar with Frederick Douglass and Martin Luther King. 50 years later, accompanied by her grandchildren, carrying the same banner and her memories. That little girl's face, now recreated here on the wall at Ben's Chili Bowl restaurant in Washington, D.C. While the words on the signs from 1963 are different today, the dream lives on. President Obama said he is a testament to the enormous strides made since the 1963 March. He will deliver a speech right here at the Lincoln Memorial on Wednesday.